All right, in this episode, we talk about pitchers that fly open early and still throw hard, and drills to help catchers improve their pop time. Porcio Bob Wheatley here at the at Top Velocity Hashtag Pitch Tips Show. We're going to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, at Top Velocity Hashtag Pitch Tips. Hashtag Baseball Tips. Ask your question we answer on the show. Thanks for following the show. It's been going on for a while now. Um, we're coming into our summer, so it's going to get pretty busy. If you haven't already, sign up for the 3X camps, 2X camps. If you want to add velocity either way, we can do it for pitchers, position players. You know, our 3X camps get really full, so try to get those booked before the summer. We do have some coming up. This spring, I also got one in Long Beach, California. If you're interested in that one, reach out to us coming up in March 26th. SoCal. Yeah, SoCal, where this guy's from. New shout out to all your people at USC. That's right. USC graduate, now playing with the Cardinals, Bob Wheatley. Um, and let's get started with our question for today. El Caballete asks, how did guys like Kimbrell or Kelvin Herrera open their front foot earlier and still throw very hard? Kevin, I'd say you're the man. Probably, I think you've got the record for the most questions on the show. Congratulations. Kimbrell. Okay, Kimbrell, Herrera are going to be two different guys as far as how they use their back leg. Kimbrell, he opens up. Yeah, but he also holds torsion in the back leg. I wouldn't say to get his force vector that linear, um, but pushes, puts force through the back leg. Little hybrid triple extension into being a rotational guy. Gets a lot of rotation out of the leg, but still generates some extension and force, but a little bit more of a hybrid, not not fully 3X, a little bit more rotation, but you know, it's it's to me, it's almost like a blend between the two. Um, so he's able to, to hold it. Um, so you can still have guys fly open, and I'm gonna let this guy talk as he does it, Fly guys fly open, and all that matters is if they can hold torsion in the back leg, so they don't, because the problem is, studies show, if, if you let your hips go early, if I, any guy, any pitcher whose hips go early, they typically, everything goes early, and that's not common of high velocity pitchers. High velocity pitchers peak their hips later, but they peak, they get their hips open more at front foot strike. So um, you, if you're gonna open your front side, as long as you keep your back side loaded, your gun loaded, and, and it drives through in the front foot, you're still fine. Now, Kelvin Herrera is different. Yeah, he's not a really good back leg guy, even less, he's, you know, he's more, not a, not a rotator, I just think he's, more collapses his back leg. I haven't looked at this footage um, that uh, early or lately. Um, probably a couple of days ago, I was looking at it. But every time I look at him, he just kind of, you know, little little bit out of his back leg. But he's all front. I mean, the point is, is I always talk about your three x to two x relationship. You can check the episodes where we talk about that. That's back leg drive to front leg drive. You know, Herrera is more just collapses on his back leg, gets a little out of it, and then but the front leg is ridiculous. So if you if you don't create the energy out of your back leg, you're gonna to have to overcompensate with his front leg and he does. He hits it and swam, he overcompensates, hyper extends. It's ridiculous how you even do that. I mean, it's not like it's not like going, well, I'm gonna do what Kevin Herrera does. Good luck, you'll never be able to do that. Same time too, you know, Matt Latos has done that for years and he's had uh, knee surgery and, and then after the knee surgery, kept acting up again and it's compromised his career. So I don't believe in doing something excessively because that's where injury is gonna occur. So. Not a big fan of the Herrera front leg. It's impressive, but not a big fan of it. Um, but they do still get their power somewhere. So if a guy flies open early, he goes and overloads the front leg and gets his power there. Or a guy flies open early and he can still hold torsion and still get the hip rotation through back leg drive or triple extension. And I know Bob's going to bring up a guy who's probably the best example of that. I'll let him talk about it. So. Yeah, he's talking about Clayton Kershaw. And he's a guy that I like to look at because we have similar frames. We're obviously both left-handed. And I was really encouraged when Brent showed me Kershaw's mechanics and me uh, side by side with him because I had been taught my whole life and I always thought that opening that front leg early is really bad and that I need to fix it. And typically that, that is the case, but the reason why that would be the case like in general is because typically when the front leg opens, the back leg goes with it. So if it happens early, 
that would imply that front leg opens, back leg goes at the same time, then you're opening that back, back knee, hip, all of it too early instead of staying in that loaded position for longer. And what Kershaw does really, really well is he has his, you know, he does his high leg kick, he goes back down, and then it's basically an, an exaggerated slide step. But once he starts sliding and moving down the mound, he opens up that front foot immediately. But what's cool is that he keeps his weight and his load back. Everything's back. He really leans that trunk, and so his front leg is open, and yet it hasn't compromised his back leg. And in the end, that's what this whole approach is about loading the back leg, building energy, and transferring energy off of that back leg. So it was cool for me to see a guy that has what most people would call a problem of opening that front leg and realizing that, okay, I can do that and still make it work for me, but I have to have Kershaw's back leg, which is obviously easier said than done. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of mobility off of one leg to be able to do that. Yeah, and I think you're stuck. If you're gonna fly open early, you have to have really good mobility or a really good discipline to hold torsion and hold the load on your back leg. And that's the challenge of doing it. Anything left on that? Well, I would just say that there's, there's a couple of reasons why someone would want to fly open. Either they lack the mobility in order to stay, stay closed, which is absolutely possible, or they lack the strength and power in order to stay loaded for longer. Because it's obviously harder to drop your body weight lower, lower, lower on one leg and then get out of that position. So if they get to a point where their body freaks out and says, okay, I have to open this leg, I have to drive, when they're in like a quarter squat, then, well obviously that's why their front leg would open early because they can't handle those loads. So there's a couple, you know, there's a couple of reasons why that would happen, mobility, power, all that stuff. But with, with Kershaw as a great example, you can, you can get around it by doing one thing extremely well. And that's what I'm trying to do personally. Cool, so um, that's good job. Let's, next question. John Cristino asks, can you give me a few drills to have a quicker pop time? So uh, I do have the, uh, the, the 2X sub 2.0 <coughs> program for catchers, which um, focuses on pop time. I'm gonna recommend catchers start, get both. 2X velocity, 2X sub 2.0. 2X velocity is a good prep beginner program. Learn the, you know, the beginner mechanics for all positions and how it, then it talks about how it incorporates for catchers and then go into the advanced to, uh, sub 2.0. We're really working to get under 2.0 on the pop times. Now, quick tips on that would be, John, there's a high correlation to just your pop up, coming out of your squat position to your pop to pop time. So if the, the highest correlation is in the pop up, that's where you need to spend your time. So, um, and I always talk about how guys don't get in good squat positions. Guys have dorsiflexion issues. So they, you know, they, they compromise, they don't get in a comfortable squat position. So they, you know, they're, they're popped up a little more, their trunks forward, they're, or maybe their knees are going in. All these things are not gonna allow you to explosively come out of your squat position. So really work on your squat positions, work on your dorsiflexion, work on your hip mobility so we can get in deep squats and we can just hang down there. So you need to do a lot of squat testing. You should be able to sit in a deep squat position for 10 minutes just sitting there and, 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 and get through it. Like that should be your ideal goal. Uh, and once you can get comfortable down there, and the same time too, once you get comfortable down there, your lifting program, which we do with, with the 2UP Sub 2.0 program, is we need to do a lot of uh, you know, clean pulls and explosive movements from those deep squat positions because that's gonna give us the ability to pop up quicker, which is, like I said, has a high correlation to pop to pop time. So let's work in Dorsey, let's work in hip mobility, let's work in finding the perfect squat position where our trunk is upright, not leaning forward. So when we pop up, we don't have to then readjust our trunk. We're there and then we can move into our throw. And I think that's gonna be huge to you improving your overall pop to pop time. I know you're not a catcher, but anything that you feel like you wanna add? Seeing catchers throw balls by your ears and now? I've never caught an inning in my life. <laughs> I'm left-handed, so I'll, I'll leave that to him. All right, cool, he's left-handed, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Let's attack uh, the pop-up. Let's get stronger, more explosive there, and get definitely first more mobile down there, and watch what happens. Your pop-to-pop -pop time is gonna drop considerably. Okay, glad to have a catcher question. Good question, go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, at Top Velocity, hashtag pitch tips, hashtag baseball tips, ask your question, we answer on the show. Guys, we got 3X, 2X camps, 2X camps for position players, catchers coming up in April, um, which is right around the corner. 
Uh, Thrakes Camp's coming in March. Got one in Long Beach. Got them all summer long. Sign up for those. We'll see you on the next episode.